Hello, my name is Parker Judy. I'm a senior at Gunnison Valley High School. Um, to start off, just a little bit about me. Uh, I come from a family of all boys. I'm the third of four boys in my family. Um, so naturally, I love a lot of sports, um, in particular football and soccer. I've grown up playing those my whole life, and I love it. Um, I love the mountains. I love camping, fishing, hunting, hiking, mountain biking. I love it all. It has to be with the mountains, you name it. I love it. Um, I love snow skiing. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I'm an accomplished pianist. I've played for about 12 years now. Um, I love Gunnison Valley. I love, I love where I live. I wouldn't have wanted to grow up anywhere else. It's provided me with um, a number of countless opportunities to get involved in many different areas. Um, and I love it. Um, to me, Snow College represents more than just a, a higher education. It, it kind of represents home. Um, I've grown up just 25 minutes away from Snow College, and in a lot of ways, Ephraim is just like home to me. Um, I love lots of things about Snow College. I love its location, I love its size, um, I love its price, and I love most of all, I love the relationship that students can have with teachers. Um, I had the opportunity this year to take some EdNet classes, and even though I wasn't in in the classes at the normal college campus, uh, each professor would always go out of their way to to check on me and make sure that everything was going okay. And and for that, I really I really have a lot of respect for Snow College. Um, I believe that a lot of people can can not only succeed at Snow College but but excel at Snow College, and that's something that I want to be a part of in helping people see and understand that higher education um, doesn't necessarily have to be at a big school; it can be at a small one, and and you can really excel there. Um, one thing that makes me unique as a leader is my ability to, to pick up on my peers' uh, needs. I've always had an ability to really em empathize with them um, and, and connect with them on a personal level, and I can, I can really be a good service to them in that sort of way. Um, another thing that I've been able to, uh, that kind of makes me unique as a leader um, is, is to see my strengths and weaknesses, to see strengths and weaknesses among my peers. Um, and because of that, um, in my various leadership positions, I've been able to I'm really bring a team together and excel by bringing out those strengths amongst my peers. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, I love to ski. Um, well, when I was first learning to ski, I was about six or seven. It was towards the end of the day. My dad took me up um, to the top of the hill um, on the big lift. And we got to the top of the hill and we we're looking down and I was scared to death. I was kicking and screaming. I was like, there's no way I'm going down this. I can't do that. Um, and I think at some point I eventually laid down and said, nope, not doing it. My dad picked me up, um, dusted me off and said, Parker, get down this hill, quit being a baby. Um, eventually I made it down the hill with lots of crying and frozen snot all over my face, but I did make it down. Um, my dad, as we got to the bottom, said, Parker, look at that hill you just went down. And that, I'll always remember that, um, <laughs> that moment in my life. Um, it taught me a lot. It taught me that no matter what, that if I just rely on what I know, and put my head down and get to work, I can, I can get through anything, and I was very proud in that moment. Um, so I work as a professional sanitation engineer at our local elementary school, um, but I'm also a football player, and I'm involved in our musical, and I'm the SBO president. Um, so going into the fall when all these things were going on at the same time, um, I had a real conflict of balancing my time. I, uh, didn't, wasn't sure how to balance it so I could give my all to every um, activity that I was involved in. Um, so it took me going and sitting down with my boss, my advisor, my music director, and my coach um, and, and asking for help in balancing my time so I could give my all to them. Um, and it took this face-to-face -face interaction where they could, they could share their expectations with me um, and help come to an agreement um, of time and we could be open and honest with each other. And I really learned um, through this experience that um, being open and honest in face-to-face -face discussion is the best way to communicate and solve problems. Good morning, America. Welcome back to the Flying Kittens newsroom, where today we'll be taking a look at why students should to choose Snow College. First up is its price. Snow is one of the most affordable schools in Utah. Let's take a look at this facts at a glance sheet. 
as we can see right here, snow is significantly more affordable than the rest of the other schools in Utah. Number two, scholarships. Snow has the ability to stack majority of their scholarships, which means you can take one scholarship and combine it with another one to save even more money. The third reason students should choose Snow is it's a very personable school. The smaller class sizes allow a one-on-one -on -one connection between student and professor. I have had my own experience with this. I had the opportunity to take ednet classes this year in my high school. Even though I wasn't at the Snow campus in the classroom with professors, professors still wanted out, out, went, woo, went out of their way to send an email to me to check on me and make sure things were going well in the classroom. Heck, I've even been at Walmart and I've seen professors talking to their students about the tests they just took. That's a personable touch. The fourth reason students should come to Snow is Snow has an excellent student life. Let's go over some of the activities that they do. Dances, tailgates and barbecues, athletic events, illusionists, casino nights, the list goes on. Now, due to some legal restrictions, I'm not allowed to say some of the activities on air, but trust me when I say a small town life is a good one. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night. The fifth and final reason is Snow's promise to great academic success and opportunity for every type of student. And remember, great stories start at Snow. Thank you for joining me in the Flying Kittens newsroom. I'll catch you next time. What up? What up? Wowza, cheese. Yeah.